Hey folks, and welcome to the channel. This review is going to be a quick, concise summary of the X80 promo and will hopefully answer some of your questions. The most important being whether you want it in your garage. The X80 Proto is expensive, totaling 2.7 million, and it's available at Legendary Motorsports. It's an older car now and was introduced to GTA in June of 2016. Its styling bears a slight resemblance to the F80 concept, and while there are other exotic looking vehicles in Grand Theft Auto, the X80 promo looks like it is from a distant future. In terms of performance, the X80 Promo is a two-seat supercar and has a top speed of 127.5 miles per hour. It's all-wheel drive, has a six-speed transmission, and it's one of the lightest supercars in the game at only 900 kilograms. This car ranks fifth in top speed, sixth in acceleration, 20th in braking, and 21st in handling. This thing excels in the wide open road, bested only by the Devis T8, Mr. 811 and the Banshee 900R. While it's great in a straight line, it's unfortunately not so practical on the racetrack. It has decent speed and acceleration, but the X80 corners and brakes near the bottom of the supercar ranking, making this a vehicle that's fairly unforgiving in most races. It would take an exceptionally skilled driver to complete at the highest levels with the X80. For style and swagger, however, this car is pretty slick. It's got gull wing doors, ailerons that actually move during cornering, and it also has a great number of customization options. Its engine and exhaust note is fairly unique and certainly adds some value to your collection. So while it's expensive, there really isn't another car quite like it. This thing is the most beautiful lawn dart you've ever seen with the cornering ability of a rhino. So would I purchase the X80 Probo? Yes, I would, but with a caveat. I don't think the car is quite worth the 2.7 million regular price, but if a player can pick it up at a discount, it would be a nice addition to your garage. That's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of the video and would love to hear your comments on both the content and the format below. Thanks again.